Number seven in our series of eight is quite a simple one. Share your headphones. Music plus friendship equals two happy people. Everyone has their own tastes in music, but what is equally true is the fact that everyone likes similar styles of music to at least one other person. Chances are exceptionally high that while your friends might not like every song on your MP3 player or in your CD collection, they will enjoy at least a very small proportion of your style of music. Kids especially love it when they share their headphones with a friend. It is also a fantastic way to spend time with your children, just sitting on the couch or in their bedrooms or on the floor or outside in the backyard. You with the left earphone and your child with the right headphone. Let your child control the songs that are played and see how much enjoyment they will experience just with you being there plugged in to the same music as they are. Just as a little interlude, as a little aside here, I don't know if you've noticed, but there seems to be a wood bird behind me, um, quite a few birds behind me in the trees above and behind me over the river. Uh, so if I hear it, I'll, um, I'll edit it in and put it into this video. There it is. Excellent timing. Okay, number eight, the final one in our series here at calmingmusicweekly.com of our eight ways that music can help you to calm down and fire up is what I've called live, love and learn. Musical history, musical currency, Mozart, the Beatles, ancient civilizations, modern beats. Music has been a form of communication, a source of comfort and community for tens of thousands of years. Men and women with large hairy eyebrows, dubious personal hygiene and clothes made out of freshly slain animals used to sit around in caves while rhythmically banging on rocks and having a fantastic time relating pantomime stories of their day's hunting and not being eaten by saber-toothed tigers. Then some clever cave person made some holes in a piece of bone and blew into it and the first flute was born. The ancient Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans, all had music as a key part of their social, public and private lives. Variations on their musical instruments still exist today, such as the flute, the trumpet and the harp. What gladiator didn't feel the adrenaline rush of a blaring brass fanfare? What Egyptian pharaoh wasn't relaxed by the enchanting sounds of his favourite court musician's harp? What European peasant from the Middle Ages was not inspired by the angelic choirs and natural reverberation of a local church or cathedral? Studies have shown that babies and small children learn better when they are exposed to music. This is known as the Mozart effect. Most of us in this modern, rushed and fast-paced world have heard of the Beatles. And the picture in our mind's eye of John, Paul, George and Ringo shows what we perceive to be the swinging 60s. Even the mention of Elvis brings two separate mental images, one of the clean-cut late 50s, early 60s, and another of the fashionably questionable and jumpsuited 70s. In exactly the same way, history might show that rap music may have defined a culture and a snapshot in time. We've learnt these ideas and concepts from the music and from our ancestors, passed down from generation to generation. Music is the key to life. Make sure you go out of your way to listen to some music each and every day. Music is a tool, but different music can help you with different objectives. Calming down or firing up, relaxing or inspiring, music can help you do both and more. Maybe a quick couple of questions at this point. How does music inspire you? What memories do you recall from particular songs? How do you use music to calm down, to fire up, or both? Please leave your comments below or visit the blog at calmingmusicweekly.com and don't forget to share these videos please on Twitter and Facebook and anywhere else that you feel is appropriate. My name is Matthew. Once again, I'm here in Jamison, and really, really enjoying sitting by the river. One final question. What do you enjoy doing? How do you calm down? Personally, I like Jamison. I love this river. 
yesterday was really, really hot, and I sat in the river and read a book, and it was beautiful. Anyway, my name is Matthew. I'm from calmingmusicweekly.com. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you again another time. Thanks.